Our next guest went on the record in October just after Obamacare's rollout. His insurance company had canceled his plan, so nearly two months later, has he had any luck finding a new plan? Nick Diaz joins us. Good evening. Hi, Greta. So, Nick, um, I know that your wife had breast cancer, and so you had particular challenges in trying to find the right policy for your family. So tell me, have you found that? We have not. Uh, well, you're coming up on December 23rd. I guess the, you have a few more days beyond that. But so what's been the problem? Well, there's been a number of problems, Greta. Um, as you know, we tried uh, every way possible to try to find some coverage. And uh, every time we went in one direction, we got uh, turned around and, and had to start trying again. Uh, come to find out the other day that the uh, insurance companies that are offering ACA plans in South Carolina uh, are not offering the uh, doctors and hospitals that we've been accustomed to using. So now we're, we're in a quandary. We don't know what to do. And to make matters worse, uh, I found out from an insurance agent today that I was trying to work with that since we didn't get our uh, application in by this past weekend, that we're definitely going to be without coverage January 1st. So we're going to go at least one month without any insurance coverage. You know, Nick, I find it absolutely cruel that your family has had to deal with cancer and I know from from just studying the, the for the segment tonight that you that your wife can't have the oncologist that she's been dealing with you know this whole idea that you could keep your doctor if you liked it I mean here we have life-threatening illnesses and we have a good relationship and a doctor who has kept your wife alive and treated her cancer and now uh, suddenly your lives are turned upside down I, to me it's appalling yeah, it's a terrible situation. Um, you know, strike one, we found out that we could not keep our plan. Strike two, we now find we can't keep our doctors. I guess strike three is January 1 when, when we're going to lose coverage altogether. It's just a terrible situation for, for somebody like me, an average guy that is, you know, has been accustomed to, to doing what's right and, and kept our family covered for all these 35 years we've been married. Now we're at a loss for what to do. Now, the, there are two companies in South Carolina that, that, you're, that uh, provide insurance, is that correct? That is correct. Why isn't your oncologist on it? Has your oncologist not allowed onto the networks? Is there a problem, or your wife's oncologist, I should say? I, I don't know the answer to that. The, the oncologist is part of a large medical university here in South Carolina, and that's why we go to them. And as I understand it from talking with their finance department today, the, the entire um, uh, medical university is not going to be part of the plans. And that would be a decision of the insurance company or the medical, or the medical center? I don't know the answer to that. I, I, mean, I, I suspect that it, I mean, I, uh, maybe they've made it untenable, but, uh, you know, it, I know that uh, doctors want to be part of uh, successful uh, plans so that they can help people and take care of the patients, and I know it's become very difficult. Uh, Nick, I, you know, I, I only, you know, I, I hope that uh, things turn around for you on this. It doesn't look very likely in the short run, but I do wish you and your, your family the best of luck. Thank you for joining us tonight, and, and keep us informed, Thank will you? Thank you. And thank you for joining us.